Hi, it's Chef Joe again, and it is October, and we are getting ready for Halloween. Now, I know a lot of you kids are probably out there whacking the top off of these pumpkins and pulling the guts out, and that's great. Make your decorations, but you know what? Who likes seeds? You like seeds, dude. <laughs> I like seeds. So, we're going to take the pumpkin seeds out of those pumpkins, and we're going to make roasted pumpkin seeds. Now, this isn't how your parents look. I know you're going to get some. Don't worry. You just sit here and be thankful they didn't eat you. So, we have our seeds. Now, growing up as a kid, we gutted out the pumpkins. We took the seeds. We made a fair effort at getting all the stringy, sticky stuff off of them, throwing them on a cookie sheet, and putting whatever spices we had in the, in the spice cupboard on them and eating them. And... Boy, have we evolved since then. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I now do pumpkin seeds. You're gonna pull those seeds out and you're gonna try to remove as much of those membranes and stuff as you have. And then you're gonna put them in a colander and rinse them under cold water. After you do that, or while you're doing that, you're gonna take a pot, put about two cups of water in it and about two tablespoons of salt. And then you're gonna Boil those seeds in that salt water for about four to six minutes. Now what that does is it adds more flavor. That, that salt water actually gets into the cell and gets into the seed itself. The next most important thing is drying the seeds. So after they boiled, you're going to pour them back into a colander, pat them off as dry as you can, and then you're going to spread them out on a cookie sheet, level them out as best you can, and just let them set overnight and let them dry out. The beauty of that is at this stage, they're nice and clean. They're already dry. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them in the hand. I'm teasing you. And, and then you can sit here and uh, save them for later. Uh, and you can use any. I mean, the fall is the best time. We have squash. We have... Spaghetti squashes, uh, Danish pump, all of these seeds work. You can use these seeds to make roasted seeds and they got lots of nutrition and everything in them. So I've already dried, boiled and dried these seeds. And now for the roasting part, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and it's gonna be about two tablespoons. Don't try this at home because I am a professional and I know how much to pour. So we've mixed that in there. We're going to add this up and we really want to get these seeds nice and oiled up and mixed up here. And now, um, I know your parents are going shaking their head going, what the heck, we never did this. Well, try it and, and you'll see. And the reason for this too is when you roast these seeds, they actually cook faster in the middle than they do the shell. If, and the secret is you want a good crunchy seed when you roast them. So the drier that seed is, the more crunchy it's going to be and it's going to cook even too. So I've got all of these pumpkin seeds nice and mixed up with olive oil now. And uh, gosh, when it comes to spices, what are you going to use? You can use cinnamon and sugar, you can make them sweet, you can make them sweet and salty, or you can make them spicy. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use a couple of local Montana seasonings, and I use it a lot in our regular cooking, uh, and it's an alpine spice. And, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that spice on there. And then I'm also going to put in, what this is, is a, a mixed peppers and garlic. So that'll give it a little bit of a zing to it. And again, it's going to be about a tablespoon. So all in all, you can use whatever spice you want. And it's going to be about two tablespoons to two and a half cups of seeds. And generally, that's what you're going to get out of two medium pumpkins, is about two and a half cups. So you have all of this in here. Yeah. Now you can use, I, I use olive oil, but oh my gosh, you can use avocado, you can use coconut, sesame seed, it's just, it, it's whatever you like to use and what you want. So we're going to mix all this up now by hand. 
and get them all nice and coated. And if you think you need to add more spice to it, then let's add some more spice to it at this point. Um, pumpkin seeds are a great way for you kids to experiment to see what type of spices you like and what you can mix in them. You can make these Asian, you can make them um, Mexican, you can make them Italian, um, or you can make them Montana and do them like I'm doing right now. So, so now that we've got these all nice and mixed up, we're just going to put the whole thing onto a cookie sheet and get that in there. And now, again, you want to get them nice and spread out on that sheet. And uh, that way they'll cook evenly. There won't be any crotches on them. And we're going to roast these in the oven at 350 degrees. And so while you're doing that, after about 10 minutes, you're going to want to open the oven up and take a spatula and stir these around. Get them flipped and stuff. Because no matter how good you are, you're still going to get some seeds stacked up on top of others. And so you just want to keep them mixed around. And you're going to roast these for about 35 to 45 minutes. You just want a nice golden brown seed that's good and crunchy. And uh, they're good. And then the other thing is you don't have to limit yourself to just one spice. You can divide these up into different segments, equal proportions and make a, a couple of different spices on them and stuff. And uh, another one is you, you get that holiday uh, check mix cereals and you mix those together with the Worcestershire sauce and stuff and then you put that in a bowl and it's always out there and you're stuffing yourself watching football games with check mix and then you have no room for turkey. So, um, but you can use that check mix recipe and, and mix that on there with some Worcestershire sauce and stuff and it makes a really good pumpkin seed also. So we're going to put these into the oven and we'll give them a stir periodically. Alright, so we had our pumpkin seeds in the oven for about 30 minutes and we've been swishing them around so they get nice and golden brown and they are Perfect. Like I had said earlier, the point of boiling them and doing everything else is so everything cooks even. The seeds and inside the shells are all nice and golden brown. I know you're so happy, happy, happy. You gotta wait though. We have guests coming, and I know a couple of the guests would probably barbecue you, but you can have a seat. Careful. Oh, there's one for you. I know they're hot. You just behave though. So we let these go in here and cool off. And like I said, they, they can once they're cooled down, we can put these into an airtight container and they will last for a week or two. And uh, but by God, you know, you just you'll find yourself eating them just like sunflower seeds. Any better. Because they're bigger and they've got better flavor. And you season them, so that makes it just perfect. All right, so we got our pumpkins. I know they're so delicious. You're welcome. That, that, you, you just eat what you got there. And you don't need to take any more to your buddies. I have friends coming over, too. They are so crunchy. Um, the seed's perfect. Not burnt like when I was a smaller kid and didn't rinse them off properly, but... There you go. Um, enjoy the recipe and we'll see you for another segment.